In this video, we're going to learn the job costing feature of Sage 50 accounting that how to enable or how to run this job costing in Sage 50. So the purpose of job costing is that it tracks the cost and revenue by job and it enables the standardized reporting of profitability by a specific job or the project so how to do this job costing in a sage 50 the first step is that we need to create a job code or a, or the project code but the term used in sage 50 that is job code so our job code is that we need to build a house or build a building or the construct a building so that is our job which is given by our customer so first step is that we need to create a job code in sage 50 so how to create the code you need to click on the maintain tab in the maintain tab we have this job costs and here we have the first option that is jobs click it you need to give a unique job ID for example I'm we are constructing a building so you can give here the job code for example one double zero dash and it is building enter and then you can give the description here that this is the building and you can mention the location also that that is in the buy or whatever the building name you can enter it's on you that what is the description you can give then use faces to track job in more detail yes I want to do that look this is a second tab that is estimated expenses and revenue if I click here without check this box uses faces to track job in more detail here we have only the current estimate expenses and the revenue that is a one amount only that you can mention that our estimated expense is this and our estimated revenue is this but if you check this option it will track the expenses of the job more in detail so yes i want to enable that if i check this so it will give us the faces because if you have to build a building or a house we have to go we need to go in the different phases that the first phase is that we need to check the side we have to do the grading and then second step is that uh, we need to do some uh, that uh, farming also right so there, there are different phases so for that purpose I will select this box use faces to drag the job and what is the start date of this job so I'm giving here a day that it is started today and project ended date I'm gonna give till the next year 2020 and the actual un end date when actually it is ended then you need to give this end date then we have this job status that is in progress pending completed or on hold so right now it is in progress you can mention the supervisor who is managing or supervising this job and this is for which customer so for example this is for 303 construction LLC you can mention that the job address the site location in which city for example it is in Dubai and in the country that is UAE and these are the customizable field which in the default information you can add it by yourself also then this is the job type you can mention that is it is priority that is like external and internal so it depends on you that what you will enter I'm gonna enter here that is external job then we have the PO number right now we don't have the PO number and percentage complete right now it is in progress and uh, this is a job beginning balances if you want to enter the beginning balances here you can enter that and then we have this estimated expenses and revenue tab but this will we will enter this later once once we create the faces and the cost code 
then we're gonna uh, enter these face IDs and the cost IDs here right now not applicable and then we have the notes if you want to give an additional notes or additional description about the job then you can enter here so this is how you will maintain a job or enter a job in sage 50 accounting and then click this option to save this job 